No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, man. And we're back, man. That's a fact. With Lil Man J. What's up, my boy? Bro, how you feeling, man? I feel great, man. I can't even lie. I woke up like an hour ago, and I'm lit as f***, man. An hour ago? Yeah, man. <laughs> God, wait, wait, wait. Bro, wait. Like, how long was your night that you... That, like, like it, it's like 10 a.m. right now. So, like, how long was your night that, that like, you slept for, like, 10 hours? I ain't sleep for no 10 hours, my boy. <laughs> I was, you know, I was up in the studio working this. Got yeah. back home, had a little fun, and then I had to go to sleep. I didn't go to sleep till like three, three, four. Mm. And like, what exactly are you like currently working on? Man, I'm working on a project, but I'm not. I'm not really trying to be on the same shit that I was on before. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I've been kind of expanding like how I rap. I've been kind of expanding like the flows that I'm using. I'm just kind of experimenting right now mm-hmm. because I don't want my album just be all like, hey man, I appreciate that. But I don't, I don't want my album to be all like, yeah, just rap and trap. So I'm really expanding on like singing because I've done that a few times. So I'm just trying to perfect my album and I'm going to drop that. Shit. That's what I'm working on. Man, hey, hey bro, hey. See, like, I can see, right? So like, it's an interesting thing, right? Like, when like you have like artists like transition from like, the TikTok bag, the the like YouTube bag, right? Mm-hmm. So now you get some real life money now. You feel me? Like that's some real life money right there, my brother. Just a little bit, man. You feel me? Yeah. Just Wait, a little bit. are you signed yet? Hell no. We completely independent, my boy. Mm. Completely independent. It's gonna stay like that for a minute too. Yeah. Wait. So if you're independent, right? So so okay. So then, like, how do you get the bag then? Like, how does somebody like? You get the bag more whenever you're independent, my brother. What, like, Hell you just, yeah. just what, like, just revenue from the songs, revenue, like, how do you get to the bag as an independent well, artist? Well, uh, you really, it depends, like, how much you want to work. Like, I, I'm about to start a clothing brand. I already have a few, like, designs made. I have a few shirts printed and shit like yeah. that. And then I've also been on the Snapchat grind recently. They're paying, like, a m- I just mm-hmm. had a meeting with them the other day because I'm, I'm tr- I got verified. I'm making money off of that. Mm-hmm. And then streams. And then, um... Investments and shit too. Word like just really being smart with your money. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of just blowing all that shit because you got some. Not facts. And like, how much that cost? This? Yeah. No, no, not the chain. Come on, now. Uh. The chain. Yeah, of course the chain. Come on, now. The shirt. They ain't fucking about the shirt. On the chain, man. You want to know about the chain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think this one was like, I think this was like thirty-five, if I remember God, correctly. Damn. And then this one, this one fake as my brother. Oh wait, that's fake. This one right here. Wait, 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 pause. So, right. wait, pause. So, why wear the fake chain with the real chain? Because my boy, why the fuck would I spend seventy thousand mm-hmm. whenever I can spend like thirty five and like two hundred dollars? People ain't gonna know the difference, my brother. Wait, this, wait. They, they, they both look real, don't they? They're both fake. No, I said this one. Is yeah, this one. Yeah, it's real. Wait, the, but bro, I'll be a hundred percent of one. I appreciate the the honesty, right? Two, but the fake one looks better than the real one, though. You ain't just say that, my boy, for real. You think so? The fake one is big baguettes. Yeah, like, yeah, right, like right, like and it's shining. You think so? Yeah. Wait, wait, hold up. So like, you pay how much for for the fake one? Like only a few hundred. What, like 3500 500 uh, I think it was like... Because I need one. I'm a, 800, uh, 800 Like 800 Hey, and listen. I, it's, it's moist tonight. Hey, listen. After this interview, right, you tell me where... <laughs> you feel me? Hey, you tell me, my <laughs> You want some drip, my brother? No, hey. where can I get the fake ones, bro? Hey, man. You feel me, bro? Hey, I, I, can I need up, that, man. though. I can hook you up, man. Man. All right, so you're from what here? So, like, you were born in North Carolina, but then somebody ended up in South Carolina. Yeah. How did that happen? I, I was, technically, I was just born in a hospital in North Carolina. Yeah. And then I was straight in South Carolina. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the very tippy top of South Carolina. I'm only like 20 minutes from Charlotte. Oh, word. So I just tell everybody, like, I'm from Charlotte. You know what Man. I mean? And, and, like, you actually, like, had a bunch of, like, illnesses, right? Like, as a kid? Yeah. I, I technically, I call them medical conditions. Yeah, okay. A lot of people call them, like, disabilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't disable me from doing nothing, so. Not facts. So I got um, distal arthrogryposis, which, if you see my fingers right here, you know how, like, like put your hand out, my brother? You see how you got the little lines right here on your fingers? Yeah. I ain't got that 
You see that? Ah, uh, yeah. So I can't bend my fingers. I ain't got no joints. Mm. Like that. So that's the distal arthrogrip posis. It keeps me from like bending my elbow all the way out too. Yeah. And then I also have scoliosis. And then I have um, cleft palate. And mm -hmm. then I have bilateral cleft foot. So that's that. Uh, that like, whenever I was born, my feet, my toes turned all the way up to my ankle. I had to wear casts for like the first like few years of my life. Damn. I could only take them off like once a week. And I had a cleft palate, and that's why I, I like speak out of my nose. So that's why I sound so nasally. Ah, and I have the rasp in my voice. Man, wow, man. So like, walk me through this, right? So, like, what did things like start to like get better then, right? Because right now, like, you walk in fine, you know, right, right, like, right. So like, when did like I guess like the four critical conditions start to get you know like a, a tad bit better, to so where you can actually like move around now and walk around and man, honestly, the scoliosis. Uh, never hasn't affected me yet. I feel like that's gonna affect me like long later down the line. Yeah, of course. I feel like like that. The the club foot, um, that was done after like the first few years after I took the cast off. I was able to walk pretty well. Yeah. I had a surgery in seventh grade. I had these like I had these like nails or uh, screws in my foot mm -hmm. to like keep it flat. And so they took those out whenever I was in seventh grade. But I was fine up until then from like three years old to seventh grade. And then so that didn't really affect me that much. And then um, the cleft palate, they fixed that, like, immediately whenever I was born. So that was good. And then um, what else is it? The the um, dysarthrograph post has never really affected me. Well, wait, I man. feel like I never really noticed. Have you ever felt trapped inside your body? What the f*** you mean? Because for me growing up, right? Yeah. I had like a bad, I'm talking about, listen, like, my speech impediment right now is still bad, but growing up I had a bad speech impediment, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, I just always felt like trapped in a body that like God gave me, right? Cause like, right, right, right. Cause you know, right, you know, cause you know, cause having to deal with these things that kind of like hinders you from kind of like you know being or 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 like feeling normal, right? And, and just having to like walk around with that, right? Like just as a kid, I just felt like trapped, right? You feel me, right? And just felt like I just couldn't like tap into my true potential. So, so like, have you ever felt trapped dealing with the Ford, you know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Back in, like, school days. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I walked a little different. I was short. And the kids were brutal. Exactly. Everybody bullying and shit. So I hated, like, just day by day back in school, like, walking around and shit. It was like, damn, I, I know what you mean now. Yeah, I yeah. I feel trapped inside my own body a little bit. And you went to a predominantly white school or black school? I feel like it was a good mix. Mix, okay. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it was a good mix, actually. Man, wait, and then like in high school, like you were like the what, like the like the like the artsy kid, the cool kid, the jock, the like like what I, type of I, kid were you, man, in man, high school? I was one of them just trying to be cool, man. Yeah, I, I was like trying to be cool. I tried to get myself in with all the cool kids and shit like that. Just trying to be. I feel like I was honestly trying to be someone I'm not. Yeah. I was not back in school because. That's why, like, literally, because I felt trapped inside my own body. I was trying to get in with all the cool people and shit. Word. So that people would see me as, like, normal, I guess. You know what I mean? Mm. You were, like, the what? Like, you weren't, like, a cool kid, but you were, like, you know, like, a kid who were, like, 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 you, like, you was just in the mix? Like, I would say I was, like, well-known. Like, ah, oh, popular. Yeah, I wouldn't say popular. Like, yeah. everybody knew who I was, but when, like, oh, shit, what up, Jack? What up, man? How you doing? It was just like, oh, yeah, I know who that is. Was that before rapping or that was after before rapping? before rapping, man. People hate on the rap back in school, my man. <laughs> People hate on the rap. They didn't even know I rap, man. Word? Mm -mm, not, not, not really, man. Hey, listen, though. Listen, but the one thing that I learned, bro, is the most hating exists in high school, right? Because right now, right, like, you know, like, now that I'm somewhat doing my thing, right, you got motherfuckers who's on Facebook, on Twitter, talking about, man, man, listen, bro, and he ain't. Man, like that's Frederick, bro. I used to know him. He's not right. So, like, have you ever like seen that, bro? Like, 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 like the uh, same who doubted you back in high school are now like. You know. Oh my God, my brother! I just made a damn song about. It. I said, uh, the same bitch who dissed me back in high school. Now she want to follow the ground. Literally, I think like since I've been in LA, bro, mm -hmm. there was a girl never really talked to me. I tried to hit her up on like and Snapchat and shit, trying to yeah. get some things going. She just followed me back on Instagram, man. Oh, really? She just followed me back on Instagram. I had a girl that I was talking to before, like, everything happened back in, like, March of 2022. Yeah. I was talking to her. She told me that she ain't have no time no more for, yeah. like, a relationship because she had to work. She had school. 
That's always an guess, excuse. Guess, guess what happened? What's guess, up? Guess what happened, my boy? What's up? Yep, man. One month later, she was like, "Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I just want to let you know I got some time now." Like, of course. I was like, "Ain't no damn way." You know what I say? Uh, I, said, uh, I man, ain't got no on. time now, bitch. And I hung up. No, as a listen, your hoes be choosing. You feel me, right? Yeah. Listen, bro. If you ever hear. It's not you, it's me, it's definitely you. If you ever hear like, oh, I just don't want a relationship right now, that's like, that just means I don't want a relationship with you. <laughs> right? Hoes are choosing, right? But not now, really. though, are, are, are the hoes a little bit, you know, are they coming now? Are they plentiful? They come. They come. They like, what's come. your type, though? My brother. Yeah? I love. You know what I love, man? You know Big what booty hoes. You know, I fold that a little. I feel, like, I feel like that's too much for me, though. Nah, bro. Like, that'd be too much for me, man. I like shit I can handle. You know what I mean? So I'm more. I like. I like. Like a Colombian girl. I like not with the not with the, all the ass though. Like, yeah, the slim I just like the yeah. I like the slim thing. I like the uh, skin tone. I like mm. that mix, like skin tone, like mm. Tina type shit. Yeah. But I don't mm. like everything too big. I feel like it's too much to handle. I like what? being in control a little bit. Wait. So wait, so like, oh, are you saying that your dick is small? Like, what are you saying? Like, cause you don't like the big ass, cause cause you can't handle it. Like, are you saying like, like, it, like you're too like small, or the dick is small? Oh, my dick small. How small is your dick? That's what. That's two inches or three. <laughs> what? what was, no, what, what this is like, no, what, no, wait though, like, it's not small though. <laughs> this hair ain't small. This is like, what, this is, let us see, one, two, that's like four inches though, my nigga. Like, 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 I'm just playing, man. Huh? I'm just playing. You sure you're playing? Play? I'm not saying I'm the biggest motherfucker in the world. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say I got like a fucking schlong, but, um. yeah, it's not that small. Though. But I feel like that's anybody. Not, that's not why I can't handle it though. I just feel like I don't even know how to explain it, man. I feel like anybody with five inches or more of penis will probably never say I can't handle it, right? Right, like right, right like here, right, right, look, right, cause look, right, cause look, cause we don't seen the smallest dudes in parts of my life, like five foot two, with like fucking like third legs, right. Who can handle some like thick bitches, right? So if you're saying that like you can't handle it, that has to mean you know the woodpecker ain't probably all the way there, right? Damn, man, what you pressing on my dick for? Uh, hey, listen, be real. Hey, listen, like there's people watching, right? Yeah, who's going through the you know the same syndrome, right? You know of yo, you know my you know my like, penis is small. You feel me, right? And, and like if they see like low man Jay, who's still bagging holes, who's still getting money, who's still going up, if he just comes out, you know, and identify as dumb, you know, you know, they'll feel better about themselves. Yeah, but my dick ain't small. Alright, so I mean I just feel like I would rather have a slim dick bitch, mm -hmm. not without not all that ass jiggling. Yes. Than a big ass like Ass like on my dick, man. Mm. Like, that's just how I feel. Not because my dick's small, nothing like that. That's just how I am. And I talk it, to me, man. What do you like? Me? You like, you like the oh, th thick. Like, really? listen, I. I mean, like, I, I don't want no fucking piece of wood, like a little two by four. But I don't like that much ass. Listen, me personally, bro. I like them built like Corizy, right? So she's like five foot eight. I, I, my bro, listen, bro. Like, listen, like, like, she's so thick that even her freaking like, like a freaking like, 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 like this part right here uh -huh. is massive. Like, I like them that thick, right? To where like you so thick that your pinky is thick too. Yes, right. Like, listen, like the frail skinny bitches. Nah, you feel mm -hmm. me? After mm -hmm. my type. But wait though. So you said Colombians. Colombian, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not white? Why not white, like the like the white women? I, you know, I, I'm a man of all, all kinds, but like, nah, I, I, 
Now, how? Well, how not? You said my type is is thick Colombians. Why not white bitches, man? I definitely did not say thick Colombians, man. We just had a whole conversation about that shit. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, because I told oh, you, yeah, I, like, I, I like, I like. <laughs> I like their skin tone. Mm. That's what gets me, my boy. I don't care what the bitch look like. If she got that skin tone, man, yeah. I'm going in. I'm going what, in. Wait, wait. So what, like the caramel? Like, what's the skin tone? Like me and Khalifa. Oh! Listen, now, listen. You know now, right, that, like, as an artist, like, the white hoes now going, not fuck with you. Right? And the dark skinned girls aren't gonna fuck with you either. Right? Guys, I like I like all you guys. <laughs> I, I just like Colombians too. Huh? I just man, like facts, Colombians. Man. Yo, I right, man, so look, so speak on the grind, man. Cause people will say, so here's what I'm gonna say, right? Talk to me. I don't believe that you are in industry plan, right? And, and here's why. Cause I can scroll down your like feed, right? And and I can see the conception of the grind. I mean, I can see he started off here with these numbers and he got here through consistent, right? You feel me, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, right? But though, there's been labels in the past, for example, Justin Bieber, where they manufactured this YouTube career for Justin Bieber, right? Right? Saying this, and he was already signed, but they put him on YouTube, put out an ad money behind it, and say, oh, look, y'all discovered Justin Bieber in, on YouTube. No, right? So he was an industry plan, right? Oh, but, shit. yeah, yeah, right? So we've seen other people come in and they've been, they've tricked us into thinking there was an organic grind, right? So document your grind, document how did you get to this point so people don't think that you are an industry plan. Man, so basically, I've been rapping since like I was 13, and so it was kind of like, I feel like it was just kind of something I got into because I was just inspired from all the music I was listening to. Like, I listened to a lot of rap music growing up. Yeah. And so I was just inspired one day to make a song, and from there, like, I actually enjoyed that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I played the first beat, I immediately came up with the flow and shit. So... <clears throat> I really enjoyed that shit. And then I was, I just worked on it. I feel like no more than like an hour a week. An yeah. hour a week until I was like 16. I was dropping, I dropped a song a month for like the first few months and I stopped because I was like, this shit's not working out. And then it was like 2022, 2021. Wait, 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 wait pause. So you started off, you made a, a few songs and did those songs like catch traction or? Hell no. Okay. Uh, Hell no, um, cause I all I did was make it. I I was I had like the fucking you know the Apple headphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was on GarageBand doing this shit. I had a little uh, pop filter oh, the, against you know what I mean. Happy I, trenches. Yeah. Yeah, you were deep in the trenches, my boy. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, we just trying to make it, man. Yeah. And then um, so that's what I was doing. I dropped my first like seven songs, and all I did though, I didn't know. I didn't know nothing about promotion. So all I did was drop the song and then post it on like my Snapchat story and my Instagram story. And then that was it. Mm -hmm. I was like, y'all go stream my song. That was it. Yeah. And I showed it to my friends around school. That was it. Mm -hmm. And I just seen that shit. It was like a hundred streams per song. I was like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't it. I mean, it just made me not that motivated because I didn't see no real numbers. And then fast forward to 2021 of um, December. Mm-hmm. It was New Year's. Okay. And I was, motherfuckers watching Polo G. That's my boy. Okay, Polo God, G. I love Polo G, man. Um, but anyways, I was watching, I think it was a song called Fortnite. I was watching the music video. Yeah. And he's like, half a million cash? That's just what I'm feeling like. Mm-hmm. And this motherfucker had, is in a new mansion in L.A. with literally half, of, like a million dollars cash just sitting in his living room. Yeah. I was like, damn. I need that. that uh, exactly. That yeah. shit motivated the fuck out of me. So this time, 2020, 2021, I made my New Year's resolution. And I was like, I'm going to do this shit different than I did before. Yeah. So the first three months of 2022, uh, from fe- uh, January to March, I like researched the fuck out of everything, bro. Yeah. I was just watching YouTube videos, how to market your music, how to uh, make good music that people listen to. Like literally everything I could think of, I was just researching that oh, shit. Oh, okay. And then 
So I kind of learned the algorithms of all the social medias. I learned how to really promote myself. I learned I was learning all that shit, writing it down. And then I started implementing it in April. And um, I started posting on TikTok, all the social medias and shit. Yeah. And um, I literally, l- luckily, I got uh, my first TikTok to go like literally a month after I started mm-hmm. back. And it wasn't even rap. It wasn't even rap related. Yeah. I posted a video. I was with my mom and we was at a gas station. Yeah. And this was never gas prices. Back home, it's only like four, normally like two dollars for gas. Of course. And out here, it's like fucking seven, which is crazy. Yes. But anyway, so it's only like two, three dollars for a gallon here. of gas. And, and that's whenever the gas prices started going crazy. And we paid a hundred dollars for gas whenever it's normally like sixty. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. So I went home and I made a TikTok about it. I was literally just like, yo, I spent a hundred dollars on gas. Like, how do you save money on gas? And yeah. that, for whatever reason, that shit blew up. Not mm-hmm. blew up, blew up for me at a time. It got like 60,000 views. Okay, like that's neat. Exactly. And so I was like, okay, now I need to start posting every day. I got I got, I got, got into the algorithm a little bit. I need to start getting into it hard. I need to post every day. Started posting every day. For like the first two, three weeks, I need to post rap shit. Mm. I literally was just posting like story times and like more things related to gas. And then I was like, wait, I need to start promote my music, implement my music. So that's, oh shit, that's whenever I started promoting my music, and literally the first TikTok I did promote my music, it just blew up. It's crazy. Now that you've sort of conquered the algorithm on, on these multiple sites, right? Yeah. Give back and give game to the people, man, on what's the formula to really, like, going crazy on these apps like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Snapchat, et cetera, et cetera. Man, it really is just like um, you got to have a good hook. Mm. You got either you got to be talented or you got to have a good ass hook. Yeah. So like what the things I used to do back in the day was like, this is how you make a um, hit song in less than 30 seconds. You know what I mean? People are going to be like, this motherfucker made a hit song the in 30 seconds. the intro into the video. Exactly. Okay. A little hook to catch people's attention. Yeah. Because they're going to be like, this motherfucker made a hit song in 30 seconds? Let me watch that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you really got to have a good hook in the first few seconds. And then um, I wouldn't post long content either, like mm-hmm. a minute long, and then keep the whole video interesting. Cut. Don't make, don't make clips more than like six, eight seconds because okay. people are going to lose their attention. Because motherfuckers got short attention spans nowadays. Mm. So you got to really keep people's attention by just keeping the uh, clips quick. Back, 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 back. Like, I was like, this is how you make a th- song in 30 seconds. Cut. I was rapping two seconds. Cut. This is the song. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah. So you got to be quick. You got to keep people's attention and have a good hook. And like how often like did you post and did you have a schedule for posting when you, yeah. you like blew up? Yeah, yeah. That's another thing. Is I feel like it's not that big of a deal as some people make it because I literally just post out like one or two or three like every day. Yeah. But I feel like it's still good to have like a scheduled time to post because it just makes yourself like more. Um, oh damn, what's the word? I don't even know. But it just keeps you on like a good schedule. Yeah. If you start posting every day at a certain time and it keeps you from stressing about like oh shit. I didn't post a video today. Of course. So I just post at 5.30 every day because I feel like that's the best time. People are getting off of work. Everybody's out of school. And then they just watch that TikTok right whenever they get out. Everybody on TikTok whenever they get out of school. That's shit. Or whenever they get off of work, they're trying to chill. Now, facts, man. Now, speak about trends, right? Trends. So should people hop on trends in terms of, like, making videos? And, and like, how do they know, like, what trend to hop on? Or should they just... Ignore trends and try to create, you know, like these, you know, like these, like unique, you know, like like uh, master classes and like time pieces, you know. It depends what you're going for. Yeah. If you're trying to be a dancer on TikTok, if you want to be like an influencer, then follow the trends, and then you can start paving your own way. If yeah. you're trying to, or I feel like this is how I look at it. It depends what you want to be, but I feel like the best way to do it is you follow the trends to start with. See what, how, see how people are doing. See how people are blowing up. That's how you start, and then you start paving your own path because it's going to be nobody's going to watch. Nobody's going to want to watch a new artist trying to do his own shit from the very beginning. I feel like you got to copy the trends and shit to really get your, your name out there a little bit, yeah. and then you can start expanding. That's, like, that's what I did. Of course. And I feel like that's the best way to do it, especially with social media, because people are going to watch what's going on right now in the industry. 
or like people are gonna watch what's going viral right now on TikTok more than they're gonna watch like a new artist trying to put a song out there. Yeah, but facts, man. Here, so let's talk about this, right? Um, so you were in South Carolina, right? Yeah. And how far is that from Atlanta? Atlanta, uh, four hours. I, I, okay, so like it, 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 it's sort of close. Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah, right. Because like people might say, this kid from from like South Carolina, he 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 uh, sounds like Twenty One Savage, baby. So, talk about character development. How did you grow into the person that you are right now? Was it like just through like watching people and on the internet, or did the people that you hang out with and talk to were they like you know like the Southern gangsters as well? Yeah, I would say like I had a I had a um, very like I would say more like I hung out with more of the. Uh, how do I word this? I didn't really have a lot of white friends growing up. Yeah, of course. I always say that. It was more it was more uh black people that I was hanging out with growing up. So I feel like that's really what influenced me um differently than just more white people. So that's how I got into like the rap and shit yeah, of course. like that. Yeah, right, cause, yeah, right, because like you started listening to rap at ten years old, yeah. right? Despite your parents saying nah, you feel me, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. So, yeah, right. So at, at 10 years old, did that kind of like mold you? Like, for example, right, were you ever a suburban white kid who, who, like, who, like, did not listen to rap? Like, like who was just like a normal suburban white kid? Or since the age of 10 years old, you, like, you was always just more driven towards the urban culture? Yeah, I, yeah, since then, I was always driven towards it. Urban culture, just because that's what I listen to, of course, and that's what I watch on the fucking um, YouTube, the music videos, all that shit. Yeah. So I and the people I hung out with, that's just how I grew up. I feel like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course, man. So okay, so then like speak on the cap freestyle because I feel like that blew you up like heavy. Hell yeah. Yeah right. For sure. So so like what's the concept of the cap freestyle? Because <laughs> the word cap is in it, right? So like, are you saying like, yo, all this shit is cap? Like, what's the concept of the cap freestyle? I would say not all of his cap, but a lot of his cap. And just really the main reason, it was just kind of like a play along with the haters and shit. I mm -hmm. was just on TikTok Live. I was showing everybody. I was making a song, blah, blah, blah. Everybody was like, just do caps and rap. He's not really about that, like, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to play with him a little bit. And I call it cap freestyle. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, I mean, a lot of it is cap. So it was like, it's makes it true and it just makes people talk a little bit more it's like oh this motherfucker called a song cat freestyle he's yeah. capping in the whole damn song you know what i mean of course. It just makes them talk a little bit more just add that little extra yeah virality to it what's cap and what's real in the song yeah oh my god my boy you, yeah. want, me, you want me to go through every lyric man i, I look so look here here here, 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 <laughs> talk, here, here. talk to me man look, Russell, talk look. to me yeah Russell, we got uh here right cap right here right okay 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 so okay so so <laughs> the Intro is run up the city, you know that we turn up. I run with the balls, you get caught with a burner. Have you ever got caught with a, a burner? And nah, I ain't never got caught with a burner, my boy. So that's cap? Yeah. Uh, damn, brother, what's I bet? Hey, keep, just keep going, man. I think I there's at least a few in there that ain't cap, my boy. Look, I look. So, okay, so let's go. So pull up with a beam in the SRT. Yeah, cop a new whip, she all on me. Trying to act black, but I'm white as can be. Yeah, I'm the white little baby, no one harder than me. Make the wrong move, now it's R.I.P. Has anybody ever R.I.P. for making the wrong move move at you? No. No? No. I bet. So let's go. I will say, I will say no one's harder than me is, um, is not capped, though. No, right. But like I just read like ninety five percent since so far, and hey, ninety five is hey, cap. I caught it, cap freestyle on my boy. I I, how about this one? Cup talk to me, man. Look, I right, look. Cop a new watch for every time I didn't have it. Come from the mud. Now they gotta say I'm really capping. Trying to make it out of the hood. Keep rapping. What hood did Lil Man J reside in? You know. Like what hood? <laughs> well, no. Huh? No, none. 
Okay, so so I far live, I can't. I live. It's cat. I, I live on the lake, man. I ain't growing for no hood. <laughs> what say that then? <laughs> uh, you know. What? I feel like that's just what I was influenced by. So it's just kind of how I talk. No, 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 hey, 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 no, no, right here, right. So look, right. So look, right. So look. So dressing how you dress, yes, right. Talking how you like this shit. Yeah, 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 right. I appreciate talking how you talk. Yes, that's you. You feel me? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, like liking what you like. That's you, and nobody can take that away from you. Right. Feel me? Right. Yeah. But coming from the hood. Holding a beam, shoot, like, that's not you, meaning, like, those are just clear-cut fabrications. So why do you feel like you, like, like you, like, had to say that to blow up? <clears throat> I didn't feel like I had to say it to blow up. I feel like this is kind of how I viewed it. Um, like I said, I grew up listening to a lot of rap music, and I felt like it didn't seem to me like what the people were talking about, they really lived this life. Because sure. I feel like they would be in jail by now if they really lived this life or something like that. Yeah. Like, just to be able to talk about it in their songs, they're pretty much, like, snitching on themselves. It's like, they would be in fucking jail right now. So I just seen, I thought everything was cap. Now I was kind of following. That's why. I, that's what we were talking about earlier, following the trend. Yeah, following what everybody's talking about. That's what I did right there. Yeah. So I was talking shit that I heard in other people's songs. Like, I never pulled up with a beam in the SRT. Yeah. Well, I feel like I probably heard that in the song before. I was like, oh, that shit hard. I'm going to say that. So I was just following the trends, really, with that song. Yeah. But I will admit... I mean, I will say that I learned from that, uh -huh. and recently, like, that's why I was saying about my album and shit, like, that's why it's been so delayed. I was supposed to drop it last year, but I've really been working on, like, expanding, expanding the type of music I make, experimenting, and really speaking, like, truth, how I feel, what I've really gone through and stuff like that, because I really, I realize, like, how much it means. So, to talk about, yeah. like, yourself and, like, really what you've gone through, and not just random shit that don't. Yeah. Really? Now, people may say, though, right, that, like, that's the Post Malone, like, the like the formula, right, which is come, get hot, get popping, off the street shit, off the urban shit, and then transition to the rock star, pop star shit <laughs> as soon as you get on. So what's your response, then, like, to folks saying, bruh, like, you just used the like the street shit to, to like get on. And now that you're on, you're now transitioning into the rock and pop star shit. I feel like if they, if they, if they actually understand this shit, they'll be like, Oh, he's smart as fuck. But people that are just watching, they probably just don't understand it. I feel like, hmm, that's a hard answer, a question to answer my boy. I just feel like, yeah, yeah, hey, I feel like it just depends how you feel. This is how I feel. I, I yeah, wanted to move away from it a little bit. Of course. No, listen, right? So look, bro, like we listen. I can't rap like that forever. That's why. Of course. That's <laughs> why right there. I can't rap like that forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I have to expand myself. I have to experiment. Otherwise, everybody's going to know me as a fucking kid that blew up for sound like little baby forever. Yeah, I man. can't have that shit. Yeah, bro. Bro, look here, bro. Like we listen, like we acknowledge you are smart as hell, right? Smart as fuck. And. The music itself is undeniable, meaning, like, obviously, like, Lil Man J makes phenomenal great music, right? He, like, right, like, right, like, dude, dude, like, dude, like, knows how to rap, right? You have me up, man. I appreciate no, 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 no. Bro, listen, though, right? It, it, it's true, though. You know how to rap. That's undeniable, right? But now, but, right, but, like, now it's kind of like, I. Right, he started off with the rap shit. Like he is is, is capping a hundred percent. He's taking stories <clears throat> that you know that you know that that these like kids right who grew up in the urban cities and in the hood actually like lived right. He's taking it and he's profiting from their pain and their trauma essentially. So like when you hear that, what's your response and why do you think that you should be able to? Monetize and profit from those lyrics that you know that like you ain't lit. That's a good ass question. I feel like I never looked at it like that, and uh, as I as I was growing as an artist, 
I started understanding that more, and that's why I moved on. I feel like I just kind of leave all that shit in the past. I feel like that's a thing of the past, you know, talking about shit that I'm not really about. Yeah. And I just move on from that, so... um. That's all I gotta say about that. I yeah. just feel like I moved on. Of course, I don't got much to say about the profit and shit from that. But yeah, man, look, right. So, biggest question is this, then, right? So, so uh, folks may say, then, little man J, uh, are you a, 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 a culture vulture? What you mean? So here, right here, right here, right. So okay, so uh, a culture vulture is. Described as somebody who comes into a, a culture, right? They profit from it and don't really like give back equally. Nah, nah, I wouldn't say. I mean, I, I, I did not grow up in the hood and shit like that. Yeah. But I was around people that did live that life and grew up like that. Of course. That's kind of what influenced me because I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen that shit. Like, you know, I, I've seen people holding guns. I've seen people shoot. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I grew up with that shit, although put this because of the people I hung out with. So I wouldn't say I'm a culture vulture because that's really how I grew up. Yeah. As far as, like, the people I hung out with. But me personally, I didn't live that life. So I wouldn't say I'm a culture vulture just because of that aspect right there. And... No, 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 no. Right. So, here, right. So, here, right. So, so... Essentially, like, what, like, a culture vulture is, right, mm -hmm. is you profit from a culture or, here, right, for example, you rap about the hood and profit from it, but don't give back equally. Meaning, like, what, like, what has Lil' Man J done for the streets, right, that makes it okay for him to profit from it? I give back. What? 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 Like through like what? No, listen, right here, right? Like listen, bro. Like, like we're not trying to like if I'm corner you. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you just yeah, wonder. Yeah, you just wonder. Yeah, right, right, right. So, if you've like, given back, explain how. You feel me? Right. So, so, you so know. there's a lot of shit I do. I feel like all the videos I do, as far as like listen to my music, I'll give you twenty dollars. Yeah, I feel like that's giving back right there. Man, to people. Come on, Lord Jay. Come on, good, good. What? Man, Gee, man, I keep man, listening. Man, keep, keep listening, man. Little man, Jay, twenty bucks to my homeless <laughs> folks who listen to your music that you clip and put on TikTok and profit from it. Doesn't really like he equate okay, okay, okay. back to the street <laughs> probably from, from the street. Hold on, man. Okay. Hold so, on, hold on, okay. hold on. Let, let me let me explain uh talk a little bit more than sure, sure, I sure, guess sure. I guess that one didn't work. Yeah. Um so um I also like you asked my boy the other day, there was a girl out here in LA. She was sitting at a gas station right before I walked into the studio. I gave her like twenty yeah. dollars. You know, just the off camera shit. I really do give back to those people because like I I understand the situation. Of course. I know everybody can start winning. They just need a little bit of motivation. They just need to get up a little bit. So I really give back to those people. I bought my boy a fucking chain. Mm -hmm. Now I'll be doing shit for my people because, like, you know what I mean? Okay, yes. So I would yes. say I give back and shit like yeah, that, man. Yeah, that's fair. Not the, not the $20 to listen to my music. I, I guess that was a bad example, but. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, so what do you feel like you, you owe the streets or owe the hood? No, I don't really think about that shit, my boy. Why not? Because, like, I feel like, because I don't talk about that shit no more in my music. So, you stop talking about it, like, completely. When? Whenever it was it was brought up to me by my boy, uh, Nito. Who? He, Nito, he uh, does the uh, um, braids and stuff on TikTok. Yeah. His name is Juan Castano. Um, it was brought up to me by him and uh, my boy 20, a okay. producer named 20. They were like, look, Jay, you can grow a little bit by talking about shit you're not about. People won't know that. But eventually you're going to have to really start talking to yourself because that's whenever the people are going to feel the lyrics more. Okay. And they had to tell me that shit multiple times because I, I didn't really listen in the beginning. But I would say over the past few months, I realized like, they're right. Like, they're really right. Like, now whenever I show people my music, like, damn, bro, you're talking your shit. Like, I really feel that. Of course. And I know you Wait, feel that. wait. And 
that was like when the like like was that before or a- after the Save the Summer shit? Oh, none of the songs I've dropped recently have shown that. Yeah. Besides, um, at me now. What? As far as like moving away from talking about coming well, from well, the wait, and shit like that. But Jay, wait, wait, wait though, right? Wait though. So they're like, why don't you like? Wait, I. Right, but, <laughs> but Jay. Talk to me, man. If Nina told you this shit like months ago, right? Yeah. Then, then like, why'd you like 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 still drop music? That has that in it. Cause the shit's hard. But Jay, you have to give back though, right? Like, right? Like here, 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 right? Here, right? Here, right? Here, right? Look, right. So for example, sure. right? Look. So it, it, there's people who are dying from being in, in the streets and being in the hood, right? Who has had their life permanently fucked up. They look at you like, oh, he's monetizing from our stories. And he's never been here. Like, he's never seen this. He's never lived it himself. He's not affected by the plights that come with it. Why is Lil' Man J able to get millions of followers on TikToks and profit from it without giving us a large percentage of that? Yeah. I mean, you're right. I already got nothing to say to that. Yeah. Besides, like, that's why I recently... Stop. In my... Stop. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why you oh, recently yeah. stopped. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. why that's why I recently stopped because yeah. Yeah. I have completely realized that and I had to move on from that shit. But I will say I made too many damn songs, too many fire songs with that shit in it that that's what I'm doing. I'm dropping that shit now. Yeah. I'm dropping that shit now. And then like and it will, the proceeds I, go to the hood, the streets, you know, give back, you know, do like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, you know what? Now that you saying that yeah. shit, it will. It will. What percentage? I, percentage? I, I like that. Fuck it. What? Let's do. Like, I like, wish my uh, accountant was in here right now so we can. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> we got a good number. I would say, I would say, like, I'll tell you this shit right now. I'll, I'll probably get 10%. Wait, 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 pause. Come on, man. Wait, wait, wait pause. Jay. You are a hundred percent independent, right? Yeah. So all the money goes to you. So right? Yeah. Right. So after you pay your staff, why not do at least fifty fifty of the profits again? My brother, of the you, profits, you might, not the you, general yeah, payments. Hey, you might yeah. not know how much this shit costs, man. No, with the, of the profits, I said right. Meaning, like, oh, after the like, you pay off the bill, oh, uh, the profits. Yeah, the profits. yeah, you feel me? Yeah, you feel me? You know, of yeah, profits. Yeah, I'll give him ten percent. How about, <laughs> how about 50? <laughs> you have to show, show I, 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 I fuck with that. But yeah. uh, of what? Of, of of songs in the past? No, no, no. Or the songs that I'm dropping the next few months that have that shit? That so, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. Look, right. So look, right. So look, right. I'll right. give 50% of profit. Bet. I'll tell you that shit right now. Bet. I'll give you that shit right now. Hey, and listen. We will be, listen. I will follow up, right? And like, I want to know who this money went to. Where did it go? You feel me? Shoot, I'll give it to you to spread it out. Hey, bet. Hey, 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 listen, cool. Yes, right? Or, right? Or listen. Um, there's this guy called Tariq Nasheed. There are right, right, and he like has a uh, you know like a Black History Museum, right, right, and he. He can use use you know donations or yo um there's these communities right in like South Carolina right the it, 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 impoverished right where like you know like you can give you know like the cash to like local community leaders. What's poverty? No, it, it, impoverished right meaning like you know like they're poor. Oh poverty. poverty. Yeah right yeah right so like right so like you can give you know those funds to those local leaders and they can distribute it. You feel me? Okay. okay. Right, but. Past that though, man. All right. So Low Baby responded to you. What well like well he acknowledged you. And the first thing he said was, is this parody or is this for real? Mm-hmm. How did you take that? As a diss or him showing love? Mm-hmm. Like looking at it, I think it was a diss, but in the moment, 
That was whenever he said that shit. That was the moment that I was kind of transitioning from the little baby shit into myself as an artist. So at that point, it was just like, okay, he responded cool. I really not. I took that shit with like a grain of salt. I didn't think anything about it. Yeah. But and looking looking back at it, it's like okay, that was a little bit of a diss. Or definitely was a diss. Diss. De- Damn. Definitely a diss, man. Damn. Definitely a diss. And he hasn't reached out yet to work or to like you know to show love or what? I don't think he fucked with me. No, why not? You saw what he said, man. I don't think you fuck with me. Well, I could. Okay, so do you feel like you went overboard, like trying to be him? I don't think so. Okay, I feel like I cut that shit off at a perfect time. Yeah. I feel like I maybe fucks with me now, but I feel like he just gotta give it some more time mm. to see if I'm gonna keep kind of riding. He, the same type of rap, rap, rhyme scheme, all that. I feel like he's gonna give it some time, but I feel like he doesn't like, not like me. Okay. But now, hey, listen. Some may say though that Lil Man J is single handedly responsible for Lil Baby falling off, right? Cause, cause, and hey, hey, listen though, cause like you came and dropped songs that sounded better than most, you know, than most baby songs. I appreciate that, man. I ain't never right? I ain't for that. Right. Right. So. That's why I said, no one harder than me. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Do you mean that though? Like, like, there's, like, there's, 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 like, nobody harder than you, like, like at all. Uh, there's definitely people harder than me. So, 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 wait, <laughs> so I can't. <cap. laughs> but wait though, right? But wait, wait though, right? But bro, listen. Talk to me, man. right? But bro, you should never ever say there's somebody else harder than you, bro. Right? Well, I, Never. I just like being honest. Jay, you are a white rapper in hip hop. Yeah. They're going to try to attack you from all corners. You, like, you, like, you have to at least have, like, like confidence to say, nah, I'm mm-hmm. the go. See, I let the music talk for itself. Mm. And I know I'm the go, but I'm not going to say that shit, okay? I'm not gonna say that shit. I don't want people thinking I'm cocky. I'm too. I'm. I think I'm him. I know I'm gonna be the best. I just keep that shit to myself because I know, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna let the music speak for itself and then keep keep the cockiness, quote unquote, to myself. Okay. So when you just told me though that you know there's people harder harder than you, because you lied to me then or now. What would I lie to you about now? That you've been a goat, but then you just told me though that there's people harder, harder than you. There is. So my boy, my boy. Mm-hmm. There's always gonna be people that's doing more or doing better than you. Always. How you the goat then? My boy, you, Lil Wayne. You think Lil Wayne's a goat? Hell nah. Drake the goat to me. Drake is. You only got one goat. Yes. Greatest of all time, right? Means yeah, goat, right? Oh wait, 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 wait hold up though. Are you saying that you are one of the goats in this hip hop shit? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel like I would call Polo the, the G mic? a goat. Oh my yeah. god, my fault. Yeah. I feel like I would talk. I would tell Polo G a goat. I would say Drake's a goat. I would say Lil Wayne's a goat. I feel like there's more goats than just one. Te- technically not, but yeah. Like if you're being like greatest of all time, obviously there can only be one greatest of, of all time, but. I think there's multiple. So I'm a one of the goats. And what has Lil Wayne... Soon to be, soon to be. No, facts. Oh, okay. Soon to be, not yet. Mm-mm. I bet. And who's your goat? Polo G. The, where? The goat? Yo, wait. Like, have you done, like, your history in, on hip-hop? Like, have you, like, like you know, like, watch some, you know, like, listen to, like, some, like, Biggie shit, some Jay-Z shit, some, like, Rakim shit? Well, I'm out, I'm out here. I'm out here in LA. I'm listening to... To live and die in LA by Tupac. A word. All right. You know, I'm a, I I listen to a little bit, but I'm so, Polo G. I, I has, that's my boy. What's your top three like pop songs? Pop. No Pac. Pac. Yeah. Straight balling. Live and die in LA. And hmm. That's all I know. You only know two, 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 two pop songs, bro. How old are you? Eighteen. 
You're 18 years old. All right. That's understandable. <sighs> right? Man. I feel like you just got to give me a minute to think. I could probably think of some more that no. I listen to, but that's all that comes off the top of the head. And do you feel like you now being a, a rapper that, like, you, like, have to, like, you know, like, start diving deeper into, like, the history now? Um, Being a rapper, how to dive in, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. I, I feel like as far as building myself as an artist, I do. Oh, so where? What the Yeah. It, it's off with Let's see. Um, About one second. I'm just gonna edit it. No easier on the guy. A word? I'm digging on him so hard. No, I'm not. What? Who's that word digging? Well, that's the word I'm getting. A word? Wait, wait let me see. It, who, who said we're digging, man? Hey. Isn't that pressing him to give all his money away? Huh? Pressing him to give all his money away. Nah, nah, they're coming out, bro. I mean, he's, he's having fun. Let him live. Mm. We're all the My phone's off. Wait, 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 let me see. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, bro. I think what? His manager out there, whatever. I don't know. Laura told me. Oh, uh, well, uh, um, a word. Do you feel like we're going too hard on you, man? Nah, I just look at it as an interview. I'm just yeah, I'm right, yeah. Me, bro, listen, right, bro. Look, right. So look, bro. Like, listen, like me, right. I, I'm a nice guy, right. <laughs> but like, it, if you go and, and like talk to like the Ebros and the, the Charlemagnes. Yeah, right? What the fuck is he, bro? Uh, like, he's probably 97. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, right? You feel me? Yeah, yeah, right? Them, right? Or, like, Joe Budden, right? You talk to those guys. They're gonna, like, you know, you feel me? Like, go, like, tw 20 times harder, like, than me, right? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Right? S right? So, like, this interview, like, has to prepare you for what you have coming up, right? You feel me? Especially, bro, being a white rapper in hip hop, nigga, you have to have tough skin. You feel me, right? So, so, do do you feel attack right now, or or like are they tripping? I feel like they tripping. I was just cool now. I don't, yeah. I don't really do too many interviews, so I was just answering your shit. In facts, you feel me? I, I look. Uh, like, I feel like you just trying to understand me a little bit more. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, right. <laughs> now, I right, so you said that. The Island Boys stole stole your song, which I definitely agree. Uh, but then you said Twenty One Savage and stole your shit. Now listen, the like the Island Boys are who I personally consider no talent dweebs and nincompoops. poops. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But Twenty One Savage, now come on, bro. That's what I'm talking about, my boy. You know, you know how I said grabbing people's attention yeah. earlier. That's all it is, my brother. Mm. All right. That's all it is. Wait. I know he ain't still my damn boy. I probably listen to 50 songs that say something about lining up about dominoes and shit. Yeah. I just use that. That's a little eye catch. You know how many views that she got? Like 15 million. Yo. All across all platforms. Yo, it, it, like, it went dumb viral. Like, it went super viral. Like, hella viral. You feel me? Now, now listen, though. Like, like the Island Boys, though, I for sure, I for sure think... Those little two dweebs was in their apartment after fucking each other and said, yo, low man J bars. Oh, so he said this? Let's repeat it. Because those niggas, those niggas are dweebs. <laughs> right? So, you so. Know, you know what's crazy, though? What's up? <laughs> I, I realized after I posted that TikTok that. They posted their song with that beat before I even made Cap Freestyle. Oh, really? Wait, hold up now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 pause. So, wait, so the Island Boys ain't still it? Damn. Damn, what, what shit? Hey, listen, man. Now, like, if they sue you, now what? You feel me? <laughs> well, they can't sue me. I, I bought the beat exclusively. Oh, bad, bad, yeah, bad, bad. yeah, you know, I played it. I played it smart, but I realized I thought it was May six. I think it was twenty twenty three. Yeah, but it was May six, twenty twenty two. After I looked back, and I was like, "Damn." The facts, man. So, so, so hey, Russell, look at this now. So, talk to me. So, you haven't dropped an album yet. Mm -mm. Now, save the summer. I think I told you in off air that shit was hard. My only complaint was the shit was too short, bro. It was like five songs, 
right? You like the reggae song? Wait, 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 hey, <clears throat> hey, look. I was like, I don't know, oh, oh, oh. Hey, let me show you like the ones that are on like, on like um, my like playlist right now. Hey, how y'all? So, so look, Rasha, so look though. I, I actually have you like, um, uh, in, in my drill session for some reason, and I'm not sure why. You have me in there, you don't. Drill. No, no, yeah, yeah, look. So, what, here, right? So, I have the Zip or Two and Internet. You like them? Yes. Those oh, my hard. God. Zip and Two is one of my favorite songs I ever made, man. The word? I fucking love that song. I listen to that shit on repeat, like, whenever I'm in the car. The word? I forgot how hard that song was after I made it. Oh, oh wait, wait. So, rappers actually listen to their own music? No, but Hell, Yeah. Death, listen, listen to like that. That's kind of hard, right? <laughs> that's kind of hard, right? Listen, right? Because look, because I can't imagine me personally, right? Because, because again, because I can't rap, right? I cannot imagine creating something that's so good that I put put like that on over like Drake, right? You feel me, right? You don't, you no, wouldn't play that. I can't rap. I, I suck, <laughs> right? But you said if you do make something better than Drake. No, I, I'm saying, saying right that I can't, I can't even like fathom that I will ever make something oh, better than what Drake can give me. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, yo, bro. Because I, I make music that I want to listen to. Yeah, that's why I listen to it. Facts, okay. Because I feel like nowadays ain't that much great music release, so I feel like I make music that I want to listen to that nobody's dropping. Mm. So I listen to my shit all the time, and it helps me. As far as like, okay, maybe I can add this here. I can add this here. It just helps me yeah. really make the song, put the song to the next level. No, man, man, bro. Now this, right? So look, so the so 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 the last EP was Save the Summer. Yeah. So one, are you dropping an album next or an EP next? And like, is the EP gonna be called like Save the Fall? <laughs> right? Come on, hey, listen though, bro. Hey, listen. <laughs> you funny. Huh? A few set of albums is going crazy. Yeah, I'm making one called Save the Fall, and then I'm making one called Save the Winter. Cut, bro, I'm telling you, bro, <laughs> that shit will go stupid. It would, but I'm not doing that. I'm dropping an album uh, 2024, like, like probably in like the second quarter. Word. And, wait, wait. First off, one, like, that's fire, right? Because I think Cole is supposed to drop the second, right, too, right? Oh, but... Right, but the, like, okay, so have you, like, started working on, on like, songs yet? Like, for the uh, four? Yeah, 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 I'm always working on this shit. I just feel like that's why it's so delayed, because I make something, yeah. I'm like, oh, that shit's going on the album. And, and then then I make another one, I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, I got to replace that song with that song. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? That's what's take, delayed this album so damn much, because I feel like I keep getting better and better and better and better every time mm -hmm. I fucking make a song, so it's like I don't know what to put on the album. Of course. And like, Because I really want every song on there, people to be like, oh, my God. No, thanks, man. That. Have you drafted up the concept yet for the album? Um, I have the title of it. Yeah. I've had the title for like a year now. Okay. But um, the concept is just kind of more of a mixtape, technically. Yeah. Like just showing like all the different flows and stuff I can do. That I can really hop on anything. And now I can do it and make it a fucking 10 out of 10 song. Man. Hey, bro. Bro. Bro, listen, man. This shit, bro, was a great interview, bro. I fuck with you, bro, and I truly think, bro, that you are going to go far as fuck. You feel me? If you just be yourself, be confident, right? Saying, bro, don't ever go, to, again, like, don't ever go to no other interview and say, and say like, I'm not the go, right? <laughs> don't ever, bro, you feel me? Be confident. I know I'm the go. Yeah. I was just saying, like, of yeah, course. not right now. And, and listen, Hey. I'm gonna be. If they ask you lie, say, <laughs> say nigga, I'm the go right now. Y'all can't tell me shit. You feel me? <laughs> man, but hey, man, little man Jay, bro. My I appreciate boy. you holding me, man. I appreciate you for real, man. It's been a great interview. Not facts, man. No jumper, coolest podcast in the world, man. Peace. Peace.